Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about offset and checkpointing in event up. So guys, it looks like both of these concepts are same, but there is a little difference. And let's try to understand it with an example. We have this source or publisher which will stream data to this event hub and we have consumer groups which will consume the events or data from this event hub and event hub internally it contains partitions so partition 1, 2 so like this we can have 32 partitions and now we all know this. Now imagine this consumer group it is consuming events from this partition number 28 and assume there are four events that is event 1, event 2, 3 and 4 in this partition number 28. Now this consumer group it has successfully consumed event 1 and 2 and now it is about to consume this event number 3 but this consumer group now it gets disconnected or it goes down and when this consumer group comes back online it will start reading events from 3 onwards that is from these onwards. So it will not read the events 1 and 2. So this is because we have this offset. So when this consumer group failed or when it got disconnected at that time this event 3 was the offset. And hence when it came back to life again it started reading from event 3 onwards. Now what is this offset? So offset is a position of event which is being processed. So in this case it was event 3 and offset. So offset is provided by the event up to the consumer group. Okay. And what is the checkpoint? So as offset is provided by the event to the consumer group then it is the responsibility of the consumer group to store or to save that offset somewhere. And that process is called checkpoint. So it's storing of offset at consumer group. Now it looks like implementing offset and checkpointing it might be difficult but guys it's really simple. So we'll be using Azure storage account in our .NET code for managing this checkpoint and we'll see it in our next video. So thank you guys.